Birchall. Cyril again. 35 metres out. The mark is taken by Hill. Sorry, Dan, but Dan, uh, Duck's just written 10 disposals and not 9 now. <laughs> Double figures. Well, he doesn't need many, does he? Letting the clock run down. They've had to fight for everything tonight, the Hawks. And in an accurate third term, we'll finish up costing Collingwood Dealer. But Collingwood don't need honourable losses. They were terrific against Fremantle. And they'll lose again tonight. On the siren. Fattens the margin. Hill and Rioli celebrate. And Hawthorne win by 10 points and continue their chase towards the top two. Five in a row, stringing them together dead. And I saw them play last week and Jared Ruffhead was their best player. Without him tonight, he was sorely missed, but they've done enough. But Collingwood certainly a club on the rise. Terrific game. Yeah, had it all, didn't it? Elliot Quine, we know that. Lewis, well, 36 to 9, as good as anybody on the ground, I guess. Pendlebury was a match for him, I think, in terms of what he did for Collingwood for most of the night. Yeah, Pendlebury was terrific tonight. Uh, good players on both teams. So just a really good game of football. Hawthorne did it uh, when it really mattered at the end, but a great game. And the players are basically lining up and showing respect to one another. No club song we know in respect to Phil Walsh today and all the sadness that surrounded football and wider community missed a few trapped and the two that came together a moment ago or earlier so Jordan Lewis yet again uh, a great game against the Pies down to you Tim well congratulations Jordan it was a tough game though yeah it was I mean it sounds funny but they're the games that we like to win we we uh, were competitive all day and they, and they were sort of goal for goal there in the second and third quarter and um, you know they got their head in front uh, coming to last, but it was it was really good composure by the guys not to panic. We knew we had a lot of time to claw that lead back, and then late again we'll compose with the ball and just didn't allow them to to have shots on goal. Is Cyril outstanding in the absence of Jordan Ruffhead? Yeah, Jared Ruffhead. He'll, be, so, he'll, sure. he'll like that at home. Um, yeah, he, he was outstanding. I mean, he missed last week, and um, and it didn't take him long to get back into the game. I think he kicked two or three first quarter goals, and um, you know it just shows the class of the man. He's uh, he was outstanding though. We all know of the, the death of Phil Walsh uh, this morning. I mean, it's been a very sad day in the world of football. How difficult was it for you or the team to, to get up and play tonight? Oh, I mean, it's always hard when you lose someone within the industry. Um, I personally didn't know him, so it probably didn't affect me more than it affected Sean Burgoyne and Clark on that. And they really dealt with it really well. They didn't bring it to the game. Um, they probably grieved before they got here. And uh, it was so important to, to come out and play the way we did. And, uh, and then our thoughts are with, obviously, Phil Walsh's family. Well done, Jared. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Tim and Joe. And the players have not left the ground. They won't be singing the club song tonight, Hawthorne, we know that, but Nathan Buckley's out there, the Alice Clarkson. And the two teams are coming together here. So, solidarity, eh? The two champion captains. So...